we do? Your father trusts me. And I need you to trust me too. And do exactly as I say. I'm gonna get you home safe. Okay. Okay, Leon. Ah, it's a razor. God, it's the most 2003 thing I've ever seen. Just bought this. <laughs> so, uh, you do have to rely on Ashley okay. for some teamwork issues here. Like, she's going to go up this ladder and kick it down. I had to record this episode more than once because I was running into weird performance issues. And I, I couldn't understand it. There's been a new patch for the game which seems to have trashed its performance for some reason. This game was running at a solid minimum of 60 frames per second at 4K before. And now at 2K with my hardware, it's not. So I had to turn some settings down to get it to work better. And honestly, that's irritating as shit. What the hell did they do to this? Why is it like this? Ah, it's a funny little thing that she will... Little details that they have here that she'll do things like shield her eyes if you shine the flashlight too close to her. Although it does seem a little bit weird that she won't ever, like, turn away from you at all. She'll just sort of stand there doing this the entire time. Uh, moving on. It's okay, I've got you. Hey, trust me. Secured Baby Eagle. Copy that. Is she okay? Affirmative. Well done, Condor One. I'll dispatch a chopper ASAP. I'm sending you the coordinates for the extraction point. Make your way there, and don't let anything happen to Baby Eagle. Copy that. Hurry. The weather is getting worse. Roost out. So, we finally found Ashley, and she will be a companion for a significant part of the rest of the game. Just like she was in the original. But there are a number of differences between this Ashley and the Ashley that we played with in the original version of this game. One thing, she's not quite as annoying. She doesn't, uh, she, we, she doesn't need us to babysit her as much as the original Ashley did. She doesn't have her own health bar. She can get knocked down and she needs to be not like resuscitated but sort of picked back oh, up yeah. off the ground. Get behind me. Oh, God. oh shit, like that. <laughs> Go down, you fucker. <laughs> See, you gotta pick her up. That caused that dude's hatchet to just pass right through us. Out of the way. <laughs> Alright, so they did not notice me. <laughs> Any of that shit going on. So let's see if we can do something about these guys. Uh, I like this. I did say, watch this. <clears throat> it was unnecessary use of a grenade. Ah, fuck. 
I hate these things. Anyway, we got him. They just have money. That's really all, all it was after. So, the original Ashley, I'm talking about the 2003 version of Resident Evil 4, was somebody that a lot of the fans just couldn't stand. And I get why people found her annoying. She was whiny. She had this weird, high-pitched voice. And I can get why people just didn't want anything to do with her. The fact that she also needed to be protected as much. Nobody likes escort missions. That's basically what half of Resident Evil 4 was. Seriously, you didn't see me? And, but, like, I think a lot of the, wasn't necessarily about the gameplay that a lot of people had a negative reaction to Ashley. It was sort of her portrayal. The fact that she had this sort of weird, high-pitched voice. The fact that she didn't act like an adult, despite the fact that technically she was being, I think, 20 years old. So you got a girl who's supposed to be an adult, but acts like she's 12. Looks a little bit funny. Uh whines a lot and you know people just don't like that now i am not i have a little bit more of a mixed impression of ashley because i can understand why her character was the way it was it, i think if you can make a you can make an annoying character if in some way you justify them being annoying you justify the way that they are so, unlike most of the other characters in Resident Evil, she is not a super cop, or even somebody like Claire, who's the sister of a super cop, and therefore has received some measure of training or something like that. Ashley is just a 20-year-old girl who grew up in a sheltered existence, doesn't know anything about the danger, she's not prepared for it, she doesn't know what to do, and she's dependent on Leon to get her out of here. So... I'm not going to blame her for not knowing how to do anything here and being out of shape and all that kind of stuff. doesn't mean that she's not an annoying character, just they did something to justify the reason why she was like that. Exclusive upgrade ticket. I'm going to use it on the assault rifle, but I just don't have the money to do it right now. Anyway, if you can justify a character's annoying attitude, it goes a long way towards me sort of um wild dog it goes a long way towards me having some appreciation for them so although i do Hello, understand why people found ashley annoying the fact that they justified it sort of makes the situation more tolerable for me this oh, version of ashley is a sorry we need to keep moving got it this version of ashley i find to be a bit of a different story because they made her behave more like an adult. She comes across less like a 12-year-old and more like a 20-year-old who's pulled out of her element. She's terrified. She's not prepared to deal with the situation. Hunnigan was right about the weather. And she doesn't know what to do. I'm just going to fill in the arrows. Kill him. <laughs> Don't slash. There's also a few other little touches. I mean, she's dressed kind of weird. I don't understand the jacket. That just seems strange. But she's, um... I, uh, okay, so her original voice actor in Resident Evil 4, the 2003 version, she was sort of like weird high-pitched voice that seemed really weird and like it, it was kind of irritating to listen to and it was grating on the ears so if they go and they stealth kill on Pigman makes this encounter quite a bit easier <laughs>
And you know what? In 2003, we were still kind of in an era where characters could be goofy in a lot of ways. And in fact, a lot of the characters in the original RE4 were goofy as hell. Leon was goofy. Sadler was goofy. And of course, Ashley was goofy. I had this weird, somewhat unrealistic portrayal of characters because, well, that was the norm in video games at the time. Fucker. I hate these things. And it's not necessarily like... It, the way characters get portrayed nowadays is very different than they were the way they were back in 03. And it's not just the whole way female characters are portrayed. Leon is a lot less goofy than he was in the original as well. So this more modern way of portraying characters has created a character who's much more tolerable, in my opinion. All the sort of things that you would look at Ashley at and say like, oh, well, she's annoying and all that stuff. A lot of that's been softened Thanks. over. And I know there's a bunch of people I've seen online complaining, like, well, they took away the charm of the game. Honestly, I never really cared for all that stuff in the original game. The goofiness, I don't think excessive amounts of goofiness has a place in a survival. Seriously, dude, look at that. You couldn't climb through there? An excessive amount of goofiness doesn't really have a place in a good horror story. Your characters need to take the situation okay. seriously and constantly quipping and all that kind of stuff just distracts from that. But one of the reasons why I didn't care as much for the remake of Resident Evil 3 because Jill didn't seem like she took the situation seriously. Plus, like... She definitely should have died in pot like the first five minutes of the game. She should have died like four times. It comes across as really weird. That town has repopulated itself. Wow. <laughs> but anyway, this actually, she's less annoying I think, uh, and since I, I actually have to say that unlike the original Ashley which I had mixed feelings for this one I actually like this one Ashley yeah. alright let me use up ammunition I bet you the bolt gun's going to come less useful as I get further into the game. Anyway, I actually like this version of Ashley. I don't have, like, mixed feelings about this character. That being said... Uh, oh, well, anyway. I'll, 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 put a, I'll elaborate a little bit more. Because it hasn't happened yet. If... The way she's freaking out seems realistic... <laughs> Unlike the original Ashley, who seemed like just a little stuck-up bitch in a lot of ways, this one seems a little bit more, like, empathic, and she, she generally, genuinely seems to actually care about Leon. He's not just, uh, like, her protector. She's somebody that she actually seems to give a damn about. And you can see it as evidenced by the fact that if he gets hurt, She'll scream his name out like, Leon, no! You hurt? Uh, no, I'm okay. All the noise with the rain and the storm. You can sneak up on these guys while you're running, you know? He doesn't notice that I turned a flashlight on behind him. Freaking idiot. I think there's another pig man in here. Ah, fuck. 
Ashley, get your ass up here. Where is his mallet? Oh, there you are, Ashley. <laughs> Want to try again, bud? All right, time to pull out the big guns. Really? Whoa! <laughs> what the fuck, dude? You should be dead by now. Like now. Now you're dead. I wanted the stealth kill him, like I did the other one. Where'd you come from? Alright. You're about to get stealth killed, bro. Get a knife on him, too. Stop breaking your knives! <laughs> Since you can reclaim most of these bolts, it's sometimes worth uh. it just to load them into his chest instead of trying to pick your shots, you know? Uh, since we're back in this area, we can go and we can go and get that treasure that we had to skip over before. You know, it's I ran across online a YouTube channel with the girl who was the face model of Ashley here. And, like, holy shit, is that girl gorgeous. But it's kind of freaky, because in the past maybe two decades or so, you've seen an increased effort for developers to go and make the characters look like somebody. Usually, or oftentimes well, anyway, I it's making them look like you, the man. characters that they're, that they're being voiced, uh, whoever's voicing Mom. them. In this case, I don't think this girl voiced Ashley, but uh, she definitely looks just like her. And it's kind of freaky, and I don't mean freaky in the sort of uncanny valley way that you're seeing in a lot of uh, take ways, well but because it's not the virtual character that I think looks strange, it's the <laughs> real person, because I'm used to looking at this... Where is she? Ashley, oh, there you are. I'm used to looking at this... And then I see a very close, uh, close person looking like this in uh, in a real video, and it just kind of weirds me out. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna be getting into an intense situation here. So I'm gonna want to go and say swap this out. Uh, get the this in. And what else do I need? I have that, that, that. I got to well, spend a little bit of money preparing my knife. Teas, and I don't have eyes. enough money for That's the upgrade to me. my... Don't have enough money to... I don't, I'm not even carrying it anyway. <laughs> I don't have enough money to upgrade my assault rifle anyhow, so... Come That's not happening. Anytime. What was her name? The model. She had like a whole YouTube channel where she's speaking Japanese all the time. And I can't understand Japanese, so. So, you know, whatever. But it was. Oh shit, what just happened? No, oh, the screen went black. <laughs> Here's something kind of funny. Or not funny, but. Whatever. Now, in the original game, she would, if there wasn't a ladder, would always leap down into Leon's arms. He'd catch her, like she did when they jumped out of the church. 
in um, in the remake, if there's a ladder, she'll climb down the ladder, but she'll oftentimes just sort of jump down on her own. And it's obvious she hurts herself every time she does it, which, given the fact that I actually like this character and she looks pretty damn human, actually sort of, like, feels weird to watch her do it. I don't know if there's some misfire of, uh, misfire in my brain, which sort of equates her to being a real person. Anyway, moving on. your missing senorita. Senorita has a name and it's Ashley. You are? Name's Luis. Encantado. Great. We all have names. Now then. Who are you? And what are you doing here? Very good questions, unfortunately. <laughs> Hide. Now. In that case... Here. Help me. Ashley, quick. Over here. Okay, it's game time. All right, so we got to spend a little bit of time prepping here just to slow down the Ganados getting in. Oh, that's not real. This mob is made up of monsters. So I'll board up that door, I'll push that in the way, and I'll collect what I can collect. And get ready to start murdering. I'm going to let a lot of these get into here, because if they do get inside, when they die, you can collect their money. Alright, so that one's inside. So she can die. Hey, look, money. Kindly die. Out of the way. Oh, why aren't you dead? All right, I'm doing fairly good right now. Next, stop going up there, you fucker. I like it when they're clustered, you can... Oh! Okay, time to start doing some shit. Present for you. Planks, with planks of plenty. Whoa, did not intend to do that. All right, this one's good. Seriously. Better stay even. 
I didn't mean to throw that second flash grenade. All right, time to... How did she survive that? Oh, got a biggie. Stop fucking around here. Shit, the body armor. Yeah, like this. Stop. First time you've coughed on blood like this. You want to start explaining? The cough, the blood, is caused by something called a plaga. Okay. You saw those people, right? But you have the same thing inside you. The same thing that made them like that. This, what you're experiencing, these symptoms, they're only the beginning. I don't want to become like them. You are, well, lucky. You see, at this early stage, the parasite, the plaga, it is possible to remove it with the surgical procedure. And all you need is some know-how. And oh, yeah, the right equipment. Wait, you too? No worries. See, I have a plan. But you're going to have to trust me. Great, we're partners then. Hey, why are you... No time for any questions, the clock is ticking. Why are you helping us? Because it makes me feel better. Let's leave it at that. I will contact you later. Chapter end. That was a long one.